Carlo Gambino was born August 24, 1902, in Palermo, Italy. Carlo was a hitman in Sicily and alleged to be made into the Mafia in Sicily before coming to the United States in 1921, at the age of 19, and going to work for his cousins who are connected to Mafia factions in New York. His cousins worked for East Coast mob boss Salvatore D'Aquila, for who he too immediately went to work for. When D'Aquila was killed by Joe, the boss Messeria, in 1928, Gambino shifted his allegiance to the Messeria family, which fought a four-year war against Salvatore Maranzano. By the end of the war, Messeria and Maranzano were gone, both shot dead in ambushes. Gambino went on to be the boss of his own family, taking over the Mangano family. In the 1930s, Gambino was convicted of running an illegal liquor, still, and served almost two years in federal prison. That would be the last time he would ever serve time behind bars. Mangano and his brother, Philip, were slain on the same day in 1951 on the orders of Albert Anastasia, and six years later, in the fall of 1957, Gambino himself orchestrated the murder of Anastasia and assumed command of the crime family for the next 19 years. Under his guidance, the Gambino family expanded into territories and rackets it had not in the past, taking almost complete control of labor unions on the New York and New Jersey waterfront, at GFK Airport, and in trucking, construction, and garment industries along the entire East Coast. They profited handsomely from an array of white-collar scams and finance district fleeces. Gambino discouraged drug trafficking among his men, instituting a deal-and-die policy. He was leery of the long sentences they could get for drug offenses, which could provide reason for them to cooperate with authorities. He preferred to stick to traditional mob rackets such as bookmaking, loan sharking, hijacking, and extortion, as well as maintaining as much presence as possible in the labor unions. Gambino married his son off to the daughter of mob boss Tommy Lucchese, and Carlo was cousin and brother-in-law to Paul Castellano, one of the highest earning captains in the Gambino family. Hounded by the FBI for decades, such as in 1970, when he was indicted for masterminding a major East Coast burglary ring, the government never nailed him. He was known for offering arresting FBI agents coffee and deserts at his home before they took him in for booking. Two years later, in 1972, Gambino's 30-year-old nephew Manny was kidnapped and murdered by an Irish gang led by James Jimmy from Queens, McBratney. For over six years, the Irish thugs had been kidnapping mobsters and extorting six-figure cash ransoms for their release when they grabbed Manny Gambino. Carlo Gambino, demanding for swift vengeance, called on John Gotti for revenge. Gotti, his best friend Angelo Ruggiero, and Ralph Gallioni gunned down McBratney in a Staten Island bar in May 1973. They all eventually were convicted and imprisoned for the crime. Carlo Gambino battled health problems in his later years succumbing to heart disease on October 15, 1976, at his Long Island waterfront home. Before dying, Gambino bypassed his underboss, Neil Delacroix, in favor of his brother-in-law Castellano, to become boss of the family.